Welcome back. Greg Ruff and co joining me is Coach Jamie Crowley, and you guys get another win. I've talked to uh, Claire Reinthal a little bit, and just the strange couple of weeks you guys have had. You had a full week off after getting in first place in the conference, going 5-0. and oh. Then you go to Chicago. You got some tough matches up there. You saw the competition you'll have to match up with when you get to region. And, and then you have another week off because you have a game canceled. Uh, a team didn't show up, and then uh, you get back into the conference action. Just talk about that run and how the team has handled that. It was really fun in Chicago, and we embraced the opportunity to play some really quality opponents that we knew were just as good as us or a little bit better, and we, we need that. Mm -hmm. And then this week, even though we didn't have the match on Tuesday, I think it really helped us to focus in and zero in on the things that we learned from the weekend that we needed to work on. And we really applied those things, uh, defending the three set, uh, low level coverage, uh, off blocker defense, uh, and being an ideal team player. Those were our four goals this week. And you can see that everyone got an opportunity to play and produce. So I was really happy uh, about this match. Absolutely. Let's look at some high place from tonight's match. Starting off, uh, Matthews just does a great job setting that. Nice. Right? Yes, she does. That's a nice. Uh, slide down the line by Ryan and here's a transition oh that's a great set to the eight zone she's getting better and better that better and she. better with just you know her IQ with when to dump and choices there's a good off blocker dig and then a quick set to Alex who we kept picking on right back and we got a lot of kills back there good little jump set and pure power there is that another overpass? I think Alex had about three kills off overpasses, and so did Ryan. She had one or two. This team seems to do really well with the overpass and attacking it. We jump pretty well. There's a free ball and then a low set outside. And Caitlin, we've w worked on that this week, hitting the line. And she went right down the line. Bouchard had a great night, 13 kills, hit at wow. .632. Phenomenal night for Bouchard. We picked up the tip there off Jalen, number 12, and then there's another great shot between two defenders. Uh, she served well. She had three aces. Nice. And nice camera work, too, huh? Had been sick this week, so that's why she wasn't playing the front row, trying to conserve some of that energy. And came back in and, you know, had three aces. Then there's another nice cut shot by uh, Stephanie. Hungry to play and fresh. Good serve. Great block, double block there by uh, Danny, it looked like, over there. You got to play a lot of people tonight. No, that too. was Bouchard, excuse me. Yeah. There's another cut shot. Mm -hmm. uh, she did that over and over and over. That was game point, too, wasn't that it? That absolutely was the game point. So you turn around, you got to play tomorrow against D&E &E at 1 o'clock right here. And I also want to promo, uh, we had to cancel on Thursday the uh, breast cancer awareness, uh, which we were encouraging people to wear pink, and also the stuffed animal toss, which sounds like a lot of fun oh. uh, that we're going to do. And we're going to move that to Tuesday, and that'll be when Oakland City comes in at Tuesday. And that's going to be at 7 o'clock. We play a lot of these weeknight games at 6. That'll be at 7. And so I want to give you a chance to just talk about that real quickly and just uh, encourage people to come out and to bring a stuffed animal next Tuesday. Great night to be here. Uh, we have high school night. We've invited five high schools of local players on our team to come. Good pastures coming. I don't know who else is committed yet. In addition, we have the breast cancer awareness and cancer awareness that night at 7 p.m. And then um, we're doing a community engagement with our whole athletic department to throw out stuffed uh, animals, medium size, uh, between set two and three. We'll have a six-minute intermission. We'll throw those out and collect those and give those to Napier Elementary uh, for Christmas gifts where our own uh, local uh, Julie, Julie Demick is there as a PE teacher. Absolutely. So that would be a lot of fun. That will be Tuesday. Don't forget tomorrow at 1 o'clock with D&E. And then Tuesday, Oakland City comes in at 7 o'clock here at the Trojan Fieldhouse. Thanks for watching. For Jamie Crowley and for the whole crew, I'm Greg Ruff.